It's not going to happen. It's not going to happen, Margaret. No, no, no. I got a lot to say, and you're not making me go anywhere. Never. It's not going to happen. Laura's here to stay. David, you got another question? Because I can't wait to play my game. Well, I was going to say, this leads into your game. I mean, that does beg my question. And I know what your game is, which we could play next, because I would like okay. to know the same answers. But it does beg my question of like, I, I, I know where some bodies are buried. So, I mean, look, at I don't have any ax to grind. I mean, if you do tr start to come for me and I see red, girl, then you better fucking run too, because I'm a lawyer and I will... When I turn my dial and I go into my crazy right. zone, I'm not there. I'm not even anywhere near there. But you know where way more bodies are buried than me. Like, why haven't you revealed? I mean, you know a lot of things, girl. Well, I know. I mean, people say, she, she, she came for you. She came for your husband. Why? Why are you being so nice to her? I mean, I wasn't necessarily being nice to her. I just was... You know, this whole thing started off as it, it was nothing to do with the show. It wasn't meant to, to get anywhere. It was me meeting with two women on the show, telling them about what she was planning to come after their families with. It, it had nothing to do with Melissa and Joe. Did it come up after? Yes, it came up. You know, and, and one thing led to another and it snowballed. Not by me. I'm not the one who spread the rumor. I didn't go out and, and make this up. Tom told Margaret, she told me, and yes, I did tell Teresa and Jen, but so it was what? in a so room, what? it was in a room where nobody else was. And where it went from there is not really even my concern. But then exactly. when I'm getting a text message calling me a snake for meeting with them and a coward and you answer your phone, I don't have to do anything that you tell me to do. I'm not a coward because I didn't answer my phone. I have balls because I didn't answer my phone. Because that's I'm right. Not listening that's to you. right. You have no power over me, none whatsoever. I'm not going good for to you, Laura. Power. So you good know now. You. Good for you. Been, you know, one thing after another. She goes on these podcasts and she says stuff and she keeps bringing it back to the show that I wanted to get on the show and I was mm -hmm. just mad and they didn't want me and all these made up things. Yes, I wanted to get on the show. It's not a secret. It's not a lie. David, you knew we were we were friends hanging out. Yeah. It, there's nothing wrong with it. You call there's me nothing for wrong advice. with wanting to, yeah. There's nothing no. wrong with it. Okay. Yeah, like two things get to be true. That's what I say. You could be want to be on the show and like that has nothing to do with anything else. I mean, I, I'd like to be on the show if someone wants to give me sixty thousand dollars that could turn. Thank into, you, exactly. To For me, it's all about the money. Right. It's like, all about the money, and I just want to. I like. I have fun. I but have fun I, on the show. Your game, Kim, is really what I just. I'll lead into it. It's like the fact that she's digging stuff on Jen. That makes sense. Teresa. That makes sense. Melissa. We know, but like why and then you could say your game Kim whatever it is but like why are you digging for stuff on Jackie and Dolores aren't those your your friends yeah okay well so here's my game Laura I'm gonna say one of the girls names and you're gonna tell me maybe one or two things that she said about them to you to you that would make them to let them know the way she really is and what, how she does talk smack behind people's back, just like she talks smack behind your back. And that's why you walked away from her. So why don't we start with one person that I think is really her bestie. Why don't we start with Jackie? She fucks her husband with a t-shirt on. <laughs> I can't. Well, first of all, I think that's sexy. Okay. But I don't think she meant it that way. How did, how do you think, or how, how did Margaret, why would she say that? Just in her usual condescending, knocking her castmates way. That's that's just what she does. You know, she oh. they they think she's so true to them, but she would flat out tell me that she would go to Bravo executives and say, Jackie's weak. She's emotional. She's not cut out to be on this show. I mean, she told me she said it. These people know that it was said. So, you know, Jackie doesn't want to believe it. I I've been told that she's been confronted with it. And she says, no, 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 she's she's just making this stuff up. Okay, I but no I know, no, I know that you knew the executives' names and you threw them out to Teresa and she said, yes, they are executives' names. How would you know the names? How I would, would you only know, know the names? Her. Thank you. That's from her. Jackie, Jackie, how would she know the names? And how would and why would Teresa say yes, they are execs? 
Who would tell Laura? Did some little fairy come down and tell her? No. I mean, Girls, open up Martin your eyes. Martin started the whole rumor about Jackie and Evan. Yeah, she I did. believe that too. He told me I knew of it long before it was on the show. Wow. How how long before you think you know? Um, it was probably like two seasons before, before, and her, mm -hmm. you know, telling me that Jackie and her sister had a terrible relationship and she was thinking they might bring the sister on. And because the sister, I think apparently knew this girl at the gym, there was a lot going on. Um, and these are things that she said. Okay, yeah, wait. I believe it. I've got, <laughs> I've got, David, I've got, now I've got two, drop. I've got okay, two now, categories to just, go, you'll go, get to your, go, go. so wait, so Margaret would go to the Bravo executives and say, Jackie's weak and she may not be able to handle being on the show, right? Like that's what you're, but so she's too emotional. She's not cut out for this. And why? Like in the, like, I want her gone because I'm threatened by her. Like what would the motivation be? I cannot speak for her motivation. She's, you know, in a class all by herself. I, I really don't know her motivation for anything, but I know that she's a big ass kisser. Because like, if you know, you're if you're enemies with someone, you say Jennifer Aiden, this, that, but if you're friends with someone, you wouldn't think you'd go to the executives that have the power she's to- She's not friends with anyone. She's friends with herself. Loyal Correct. to one person only, herself. Do you think that Margaret's going to the Bravo executives and being in their ear is part of what got Jackie demoted? I mean, it, you know, all things take time. It just, you know, when you keep saying stuff about someone and then she had that terrible season, you know, she was an emotional wreck on the show. It, yep. I don't know, you know, maybe they thought, oh, maybe there is something to, to this. And then, you know, she gets demoted to a friend and you know, she told me she thought uh, Jennifer was going to get fired. She said she told executives that nobody wanted to film with Jennifer. That's you're trying to get someone fired. Unbelievable. What about um, in, I, I, Well, I have a question now about the sister. So wait, so right. So she starts this rumor. <laughs> well, that's a whole nother thing now that I'm finding out here. Now. So she starts this rumor about, you know, Evan and the gym, and then what, like the sister knew this woman at Hold the gym? She did not start the rumor. She spread the rumor. Okay. She did that whole thing about hearing it around ten of fly. She did hear it, uh, but she did not make it up. Started, right. But yeah. she brought it onto the show. Correct. Because if it's said and no one hears it on the TV, it doesn't really matter. Unless it's yeah. on. But so she brought it onto the show and then what it's that the Jackie's sister knew this alleged woman and they were going to bring Jackie's sister on. And then what Jackie put her foot down and said, I don't want her on my own. No, sister. I don't even know if Jackie knew about any of that, or that was just, you know, Margaret fantasizing, but she was saying, you know, I don't know. I think they might bring the sister on. So, oh my! But I, you know, I don't know much about her relationship with her sister or right. any of that. I'm just repeating what I was told. I mean, going to executives, that's pretty, that's yeah. pretty, I don't know. That's like, you don't go to producers. You don't go to senior yeah. producers that you go right to the Bravo executives. That's pretty ballsy. Well, yeah. I mean, yeah. she probably, she probably sent her husband over to, uh, you know, make a table for them or fix their air conditioning because that's what she does that's how she you know promises people things and make makes it like she's a really good friend to them and then you know right. she thinks she has an in with them unbelievable do you um, want just unbelievable do you want to continue your list kim of what she said oh, about other oh people? are you kidding me absolutely um listen uh, even though Dolores is my dear friend, it's not any of us saying anything bad about her. I would love to know what she says about Dolores. Okay, so I'm going to say this. I'm just going to preface with this because I happen to really, really like Dolores a 